What is up guys, it is Doubtful here, uh, back with another Over Explain video. Uh, really excited to finally be bringing this to you. It's the Fiddlesticks Over Explain. Uh, Fiddle's very, very strong right now. Uh, pretty much beyond broken, um, and a lot of people are trying to figure out how to play him. So that is the purpose of this video. If you're looking for something more beginner, I have a, a beginner's guide to Fiddlesticks. Um, that I'll link in the description below. But this is sort of uh, complementary to that video, and this will show you how to actually like play the champion and interact with other champions. So um, if you're, if this is the first overexplain you've ever seen. Um, maybe you're, my, maybe you are new to my channel. Um, basically, I just go into extreme detail on everything that I'm doing, and I try to get you sort of into my head and know what I'm trying to do, uh, what I'm trying to accomplish, how I play fiddlesticks. Yada yada yada. Um, this is a diamond one game. Um, I'm on my Smurf here. This is in North America, and yeah, we are against Ivern Jungle. And there's a Yasuo mid. It's pretty interesting. Um, one of the things on Fiddlesticks that you want to think about is. Um, oh, by the way, I, I had this comment on uh, on one of my videos. The guy was like, in an overexplained episode, he was like, "Dude, just stop talking. We just want to see you play." So if you, you just want to see me play, you don't want to hear me talk, this is not the video for you. I'm going to be doing a lot of talking. But if you just want to see me play, I do have a channel where I only upload my gameplay. It's called Doubtful Gameplay. I will link that in the description below as well. Feel free to check that out. But back to this video. Um, Fiddlesticks. Um, when you go into a game with Fiddle, you always want to think about uh, what CC they have on their team because you don't want to cast your W when their CC is up because if your W gets canceled, uh, you don't get the cooldown refresh on it and you're stuck without your W for a long time. That's one of your best defensive tools, your W is, because of the life drain on it. Um, and, you know, uh, good offense is good, good defense or something like that. Um, stuff like that. So um, we're against, well, hopefully I'll tab or something here and we can actually see who I'm against. It's actually a Quintop. And Ivern, here we go. Quintop, Ivern, Lee Sin mid, which is really interesting, a bard. They've actually got a lot of CC. I don't think um, Ivern's Q cancels it, because his Q is just a root. I don't think that would cancel my W. But Quinn has her E, uh, Lee Sin has his R, Vayne Condemn, bard Q. So they've got a lot of CC, which is kind of annoying for me, but... Um, Ivern's actually a really good matchup for um, Fiddlesticks. Because he's a cat, he's like a defensive caster, but he only his shield only works on one person. And the really cool thing about Ivern is you just deal damage to like everybody with your W and your ult. So, uh, Ivern is a counter, or sorry, Fiddlesticks is a counter to Ivern, so that's really great. We can also drain off of Daisy, but Daisy can knock us up, so that's kind of awkward. This is actually my first time ever playing this matchup, so I wasn't really sure what to expect going in. Um, but yeah, so this, um, I like to drop my, I always take, oh gosh, I, sh I wish I would have shown the runes. I guess I can I can plaster the runes on here. But I always try to take Ghost Poro. You get extra free vision with it. So I drop the effigy pretty early on um, in this little spot here. It gives me a little bit of vision. I could do it a little bit deeper into this dot push here. But then uh, I run the risk of... <clears throat> of them like going into the bush and popping it. We don't want that because I actually want to start stacking my Ghost Poro. So I just place it right there. You'll notice also that I started with a red potion and a pink ward, or a control ward rather. This is to um, essentially to prevent invades. Uh, you want to do this every single game. I always put it on my red because I usually always start my blue. So I'll just drop this right here. Uh, that's why I try not to show myself early because I don't want to show them that I have a pink ward in my inventory. Um, so I try to avoid that if possible. But that's pretty much it for that. I don't need a leash. I'm just going to start on my blue here. Uh, nothing too crazy about this. Hopefully everything makes sense. I'll show you the clear for Fiddle. Uh, now you'll see that Ivern... Oops, didn't mean to go backwards. That's okay. Um, you'll see that Ivern starts invading into my red. I don't want to do a different path. I'm pretty set that this is the path that I want to do. So um, he goes for my red, potentially. Uh, he, he stops on the pink word. But um, I do ping my team. You always want to ping your team. It's very important to communicate with your team. I should have muted my team, though, by the way. I will say, I make a lot of mistakes in this video, um, I, I think, which I think is fine. I think it's actually good to make mistakes and show you guys what I'm doing wrong and, and whatnot, and you can learn from that as well. I would say one mistake I've already made this game is not muting my entire team. I think it's very important to mute your team. Um, Genuinely, unless you're playing in like Masters Plus or or Challenger, I think you should always meet your team um, as a jungler. And and I should make I I'm going to make my own video for that. I don't want to go too deep into that because that just gets sidetracked. But 
For now, suffice it to say that that was a misplay. I should have muted my team. I didn't. That's going to be annoying later on in the game. My team um, listens to my pings. They defend my red. Avern backs off. We're all good. I start doing my wolves. I auto attack the wolf. It's very important when you when you weave in your auto attacks because your W, the final take of your W is damage based on their missing health. So I auto attack the big wolf once and then I cast my W. Then I auto three more times and then cast my W again while slowly pulling it over to this blue. Here, I drain both of them. Your, your drain can um, drain people that are out of your vision. That's why I'm able to do that right there. So we just... Get, get super efficient with our drain here. We E over to the Gromp to pull the Gromp to us. Ivern goes to take our red anyways, which is pretty silly of him. Um, thankfully, we have that ward to show us. We've got really good wards in the bot lane. So I take this, and then I do something that's a little bit risky. Um, you can get burned doing this, but I go for the invade here. Now, I, the main reason it's risky is because they have a ton of pressure top lane, so uh, if they had any wards at all, uh, this Quinn could just roam over and kill me. But I'm crazy, so I decided to take the risk and go for it. Uh, honestly, this was probably, this might have been a mistake. I mean, my team knew what I was doing and I was pinging it. I pinged assist, so like, it also knows to roam, and I look like I had mid pressure. But if I'd walked over a ward, like, Lee probably could have just came and killed me. So maybe this was a mistake. Um, it did pay off. I think most of the time I get away with this. I wouldn't have done this if I didn't think I was going to get away with it. But it is a little bit risky. So right here, I want to do his Krug so I can get level... Um, so I get level 4 so I can gank top. This is something I do every game on Fiddle. I put 2 points in my W. In this sort of weird situation, it may have been better for me to actually put a point in my Q. Just so I could just gank top without having to wait for these minions. But you can see on the mini map here, uh, my min our mini waves are gonna match. So I can see that they currently have vision of this little alcove here, or whatever you wanna call that. So I need to wait for those minions to pass, and then I can walk up and take Krugs. My Yasuo is really pushed up. I, I should have been thinking about this. I should have been pinging this dude. This is a misplay as well. You always want to be paying attention to where the enemy jungler is and like communicating with your teammates where you think he is. Now I've got this ward here, so I know he's not up here. Really, he literally has to be bot side. Like, he's, it's kind of obvious that he's going to gank mid. And it, I can't really counter gank it, but I definitely could have warned him. I don't think I smited that in time. You want to smite. If you do drain, if you do auto and then drain and then smite before the drain ends, that thing should die in one hit here. Um, but that's okay. And then I, I kind of messed this up too, but... Ideally, uh, with it with the small Krugs there, you like E and then you auto and then you drain and you auto the last one and they all die. But that's okay. We end up going to top here. We're level four. Um, we're quite a bit ahead of Ivern farm wise. And as long as we're coming behind Fiddle here, this should be pretty free. Except for I actually don't think it ends up being free. Quinn actually plays this pretty well. I don't think I should have walked all the way around like that. I think I should have. Um, it's kind of awkward, these owl clothes, man. I should have not kept, like from here, I should have gone back around, I think. I don't know. Poppy didn't have her E, which was kind of a problem. She used an E to gap close. I don't really think she should have done that. But, so we end up in a pretty weird situation here. Perhaps I shouldn't have used my Q here. Um, yeah, this is really interesting. I just fear the Quinn. Maybe I should have saved my fear. It's kind of surprising that they went for Poppy there instead of me, but I guess it doesn't matter. So I still feel kind of confident doing what I'm doing because um, I have so many drain targets. Uh, Fiddlesticks has like insane healing, especially when you have level two in your W. Um, unfortunately, I'm ignited here, and that's why I don't actually heal as much as I thought I would. But I'm draining um, all three melee minions and then three, two, three different champions as well. So we get a, a big heal here. I kind of troll by not flashing sooner there. Um, get away because we have Nimbus Cloak. I really, really like Nimbus Cloak on Fiddlesticks. It gives you a little bit of extra like survivability slash safety. And it also, um, it also helps you with your flash ults, which is really nice. So um, Fiddle took that, or sorry, Ivern took that. Wow, I learned today that I say Ivern wrong. Apparently you're actually supposed to say Ivern, which is wild. I was literally in Ivern one trick uh, for like months. Um, but yeah, apparently I've been saying that wrong my entire life, so that's interesting. Also, apparently I say wolves weird. I guess I normally say wolves, 
Uh, but it's actually wolves, so that's interesting. Um, Fiddle can heal, like your health doesn't really matter on Fiddle because of your W, OP ability. I just go ahead and clear these really quickly so because it's, I'm here and it's just, you don't really need items to clear, so I don't slow myself down that much by not, um, by not having items here. Unlike a champion like Rek'Sai or something that really wants that AD to clear these a lot faster. So we just keep putting points into our W. Uh, I, I was thinking right there about dropping an effigy into that bush, but I decided not to because um, I still it was still a while before my second charge came up. And the only reason I would do it, I, I, w I wouldn't do it because I was afraid of invade. It would literally just be for the sake of getting a ghost poro stack. And I think that's kind of bad. So here, um, what I've been doing, I've been doing this for a while. I saw a pretty good fiddle player do this, and I've been doing it ever since. And I, I like it uh, personally. It just the tier two boot rush uh, gives you a lot of damage. Fiddle has some two different abilities that do percent health. Uh, your Q does max health, and then your um, W does missing health, and then the extra movement speed is really nice. Um, and I go for the dark seal here because I'm feeling kind of strong. I don't know. I guess I was feeling myself. I decided to go for it. I don't know that dark seal is amazing on fiddlesticks. Um, Maybe if you think you're gonna snowball. I, I'm really iffy on Dark Seal, to be honest with you, because it kind of it keeps you from wanting to go into some crazy alts. Um, but yeah, I'm curious to see what you guys think about Dark Seal. If there's any Fiddle Six players watching this, so uh, your combo sort of once you have all your abilities. By the way, you always want to lead with your E and preferably like similar close to out of vision, so you can get the fear proc onto uh, the Krugs, and then your Q will do will deal double damage. So it's like E out of vision, auto, Q, W, something like that. Um, I think, yeah, they're contesting dragon here or something. No, it, Ivern doesn't actually do dragon well at all. Ivern can't really do dragon or Ivern can't really do dragon. This is pretty interesting. I really want to get farm for six. Fiddle, uh, Fiddle is a champion that scales extremely, extremely well. Level six is obviously an enormous power spike for Fiddlesticks, but every, um, really all of your levels are huge, especially once you start getting points into your Q because your fear time literally doubles from one second to two seconds. So try to get in here. Barely don't get the silence. If I get that silence there, I think we actually killed this guy because um, I silence into like maybe a Yasuo knock up into a fear or something like that. But. Go for the raptors instead. I really like taking raptors on Fiddle. If you have your smite, you can just smite the raptor and do the whole camp in three seconds. It's pretty insane. I'm in a little bit of a sketchy spot here, though. But I just fear your your fear is your defense. I uh, didn't realize that guy was going to ward hop there, so that worked out pretty well. But we just fear into a silence, and I juke the Q. I mean, you kind of know when uh, your opponent's going to throw a skill shot. You can tell when most people are going to throw a skill shot. Pretty much right when they can. Um, or w when when it looks like you're for sure going a certain direction. So here, it looked like I was for sure going to run down and away. So once I th once it looked like I was committed to a direction, that's when I switched. And um, we were able to dodge that key skill shot there. Otherwise, we would have died here. So that's pretty huge. Yasuo is just barely not level 6 here. Bard shows up. Oh, I also got my coffee. I was feeling so dead earlier. I really needed this. I knew I needed to make this video, so I was like, all right, I'm gonna just go get coffee at, it's literally five o'clock right now. You should never have coffee after one o'clock, by the way. Caffeine, fun fact. Really bad for you. So, Ivern's only level three, or four here. I'm level six. I really wanted to ult onto him, um, but the opportunity, he, he would have gotten away. I went into like ultra amount of vision and fear him or whatever. But uh, instead, we just go top side. This Quinn, I guess, is not paying too much attention. He should know that this Blast Cone is up. As a top laner, you should know, in case you don't know, this Blast Cone spawns at like 5.30, and it's just like there. Um, so really good to know that uh, the jungler can use that. It's actually not exactly at 5.30. It's some, some time uh, randomly between 5 and 5.30. Uh, this one and uh, the one behind Dragon, they both spawn at the same time. And I guess this one and this one, like they all, I think they all spawn at that time. So I just ult, uh, I'm not out of vision, but it doesn't matter. We just ult to gap close and just press the Q on right when we can. If you don't know the fiddle combo, uh, the max damage combo is alt Q, E, E your silence arounds when the Q or Q fear is about to end or whatever your fear is about to end and then you W and drain them. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's just a free kill. Top lane is so easy to gank as Fiddlesticks. They they only have one set of wards as opposed to bot lane, which theoretically has two sets of wards to drop. And you can ult from over the walls. It's just really, really easy to abuse top laners. Um, 
Let's see, this guy's like half health. I'm kind of scared for my Yasuo here. I don't really know what I was trying to accomplish there. I think I... I actually don't know. I guess I couldn't really eat him. I wanted to fight this guy because I felt pretty strong. He was like half health, but um, yeah, he just kind of destroys me, which is, I guess, a pretty bad call from my part. This is this is another bad part, um, and you're you're about to see this Yasuo is gonna flame me here for that death, and then I get like defensive and my my ego my ego procs, and I type something which I should never type. Everybody starts flaming each other. I get annoyed. That's why I'm pretty sure I immediately mute all pings and chat after this. Now, this is really, really, really important to to know when to mute chat and stuff like that. Yeah, so I, I, I do some bullshit. Nice, we get, we get our blue buff. But um, not not super proud of talking there. Um, I don't think you should ever talk to your teammates um, in a way like that. Uh, it's not useful. You should only use chat to communicate information. Otherwise, anything else is just... It's just not useful. I know some people play league for like social aspect or whatever and like that that does exist to an extent like before the game but like during the game um yeah you don't want to you don't want to shit talk your teammates because you're I, i'm too much of a tryer to shit talk my teammates you know it doesn't help anybody like me me telling the author like no that was your fault like honestly one that probably was my fault um and two it just distracts both of us from the game and then he feels less good about it i feel less good about it. everybody feels less good so um that's enough of that. I'll make another video one day uh, to fully sort of explain my thoughts on that. Um, but yeah, flaming is useless. So we sort of hard commit to this. I think I snatch this kill up. Scythe him to death. Um, again, I mean, that that Quinn was really low there. But yeah, that Quinn, the top lane is just always super free. Oh yeah, I do a play here that's pretty interesting. Um, interesting so there was an idea there, there's an idea here right like these minions are almost dead my idea is that my alt is going to kill these minions and this guy's going to tank like two turret shots and my full crow storm and it's going to be great we're going to kill him he does have like 1400 health though he's fairly tanky at this point i think he bought like a, a kindle gem i should have looked at his items and i i'm sitting on way too much gold right now so i go for this play I also flash. I don't really think I needed a flash. He he ends up only taking one shot. Yeah, he's got Phage plus Kindle Gym. He's got so much HP. Um, we end up baiting him into a fight anyways. He he underestimates my drain and we get the kill. So like, hashtag worth I guess. I don't know. Um, not not the best play by me. Uh, not, kind of a failed alt. Me not looking at his items and understanding um, my damage potential. Right here, I think. Um, I guess not. I was gonna say I should go for for Harold because uh, their entire team's bot, but my top laner is really low and is basing, and Quinn is roaming about. So I don't know. I was kind of looking to try to get onto this vein here, and I have kind of a nice play. So when you deal deep, when you DPS somebody out of vision, in case you don't know this by this point at the video, um, it does fear them. They don't have vision of me here, so I fear the vein, and I'm trying to get my Q because my Q will probably kill her, uh, but I just can't get close enough. That's why you have those tier 2 boots, so you can sort of gap close like that. But yeah, I just don't manage to get that kill, unfortunately. But that's okay. Uh, we're still a level above the Ivern. Our farm's really good. 70 out of 100. Or sorry, 70 CS at 10 minutes is pretty solid. Um, we've got some good kills. I've got my full jungle item. 1,500 gold for the AP item when you have Kindle, or when you have um, Blue Smite. I think we just fuck around here and don't do anything until I reset. So, yep, I reset by blue, and then we start heading towards top side because all my bot side camps are gone. Um, I believe we're going for Herald here. Uh, we definitely want to grab this Herald if we can. Ideally, you want to get Herald before 14 minutes. Kind of annoying. I've got this alt, though, and this Lee is melee. Anyone who's melee is super, super free to go for ganks on them um, as fiddlesticks, as most champions, really. Most junglers with good ganks. And yeah, this guy's like really cocky, so he just goes straight for it. But uh, Ivern, I think, flashes in shields, and we don't end up getting the kill, unfortunately. Which is pretty surprising, I'm not gonna lie. This Daisy just starts beating my ass. Actually, did so much damage. I need to play more Ivern, dude. Like, literally, my entire health. Wait, 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 watch this. I'm at full health. Right, so I drained to full health. 56, 110. 
I'm at full health right now. Well, pretty close to full health. Just boom. 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 I mean, some of it is uh, a little bit of RA damage as well, but... Anyways, all that to say that Ivern's, um, Ivern, Daisy is OP, and I should play her more. I think I should have actually E'd. I, I, actually, sorry, I shouldn't say I think. I definitely think I should, well, maybe not. So th this is, th here's an interesting thought. So you sort of have options here. There's like a max damage combo. So right here, if I silence this guy, he's gonna get feared and silenced at the same time which is gonna double up on my CC. So it's like less CC overall, but it's more damage because then my Q does double damage. So actually, I think I did do this right. We just, Rakan and I didn't chain our CC, right? Because Rakan knocked him up right when I silenced him. So our CC overlapped. If we use our CC correctly there, I think we, um, like if, if he either holds his knock up or I hold my silence, um, I think we get that kill. So actually, I, I do think I did it right to get the maximum CC off, but. Get some nice damage here and nothing too much going on. I don't have my ult, so there's not really much I can do in these fights except for just like scythe people. Cause like the odds of me actually getting like a, a full channel W off are pretty low. I mean, I can get I can get a Q fear off as well, but we do force them all out. They're all really low. So we want to go for this dragon while they're low. I think we actually see Lee Sin base. So this is a pretty safe dragon. Want to grab these while we can uh, because <clears throat> Their bot lane has actually had pressure all game long, I think. Uh, so it's really nice that we're actually able to sneak one of these dragons and uh, prevent their their elder, or sorry, their soul push. Uh, this delays their soul by at a minimum of five minutes, which is huge. Really, really nice. And gives us time to scale. Again, huge scaling opportunity. So here's a huge ult. Like, it's, it's kind of insane that you can go from here to here, but this is a very, very powerful... Um, Fiddlesticks ult that you should know about. I used my, I knew my ult was coming up, so I just decided to fish for this. I walked over, I swept. I was like, well, I might as well sit here and see if they walk up. They do walk up. I think Bard actually gets caught and dies um, by Rakan. And then I just ult in and I get the free kill on the vein. Um, so really good stuff. We get a stack on our ultimate hunter, um, which you don't want to, you don't want to pay too much attention to that. Like, uh, you don't want to gank just to get ultimate hunter stacks. You sort of, I think it's better to just gank where it's efficient. Um, but it is nice. I go ahead and I grab the uh, arm guard here uh, because I sort of have resist resistances are nice on fiddle because your double your W which heals you. I misspeak a lot. I, I hope that's okay. Your W um, gives you sort of like pseudo HP uh, because of the heal. So getting that those resistances are very nice to have. I think I try to stop Ivern from taking my red. I don't. I guess we zone him off. It's fine. I don't know where this dude's E was. But yeah, he never stuns him. Which is fine. I just grabbed my red. And we're off to farming. Uh, normally I would have gone to my top side first there, but we wanted to get... Because you always want to do your blue and uh, blue and Gromp whenever they're up at the same time. It just feels really, really good. Um, you do two camps at once, you get your blue, 10% more CDR. Just really nice stuff. But... That's okay, we're just gonna continue full clearing and farming up. We're almost level 11, which is a pretty nice power spike. Again, we're getting more points into those Qs, um, which is longer and longer for your time. Very, very nice. And I don't think they're, I don't know if they're building Mercs or not this game. Hopefully I'll tab soon, we can see if they're building Mercs. Right now, my, my bot lane's resetting. I'm still kind of thinking about grabbing this Herald. Actually, right now I'm trying to get this Actually, Scuttle Crab's not there. I can see that Scuttle Crab's about. I feel like I thought Scuttle Crab was up for some reason when I was doing this, but you can actually see, see that it's about to spawn by. Um, I sweep for Vision, and I think it, I end up going for Herald here. We have the top pressure, so I can definitely take Herald. My ult is coming up, though. Kind of wish I would just do Herald, to be honest with you. I don't know. That might have been a mistake, but we get a little bit more control of the map by doing it this way. Um, I don't have Herald itself swept, but... Sorry. They have mid pressure. I'm actually wasting so much time. I wish I would just do the Herald. Ugh. I don't like this. I've been walking around in circles. It's very, very important to be efficient with your time. You don't want to W right away or that guy will knock you out of your W and then you just lose a lot of DPS. I don't know where Poppy's going. I guess she thought she was going to run all the way bot there. This is fine. They both end up dying. We grab the Herald. I mean, not ideal for our bot lane to die, but um, is what it is. The least in realms, and we didn't catch it. But we end up getting a uh, mid turret for that. 
I could throw this top or I could throw it mid, but definitely I want to get it mid. Mid's the, the priority turret for us here. Unfortunately, we didn't do this before. We didn't grab the Herald before 14 minutes. So we don't get plate gold or anything, but that's okay. We do manage to take this turret. Um, not a 100% fair trade uh, for our death's bot in that turret, but that's okay. I really wanted to use my ults on this uh, Lee Sin mid, so I was kind of like prepping for it, but Yasuo didn't want to go for it, so I just backed off. And I was a little bit worried about getting collapsed on here by like the bard or something, but that doesn't end up being a problem. Fortunately, that, uh, that thing doesn't catch me. I try to go top look and look for a kill. Do we get this guy? I don't think we do. I've got a decent amount of gold. Maybe I should just be resetting here. Oh yeah, I go back up here because I see that he's probably gonna walk up. Yeah, so that's kind of a cool play. One thing that you can do, especially once you get a few points in your Q, is uh, you you fear them and then you just ult at them because they're they're stuck in place when you're fearing them and you can just ult on top of them. Useful tool to have in your kit. So I E him for max range to get that silence on him, that slow. Uh, your E does slow them, by the way, uh, more as you level it up. I don't know what it is level one, but that lets us get in range for the fear. And we get a really nice poppy W there. And we survive. Feels good. I think I got double ignited there. I'm pretty sure both of them ignited me. Um, because that was a really long ignite. But then I just start shoving this top. Get a little bit of a heal there. More of a heal than you would before, by the way. The heal the damage buff to minions are huge. I'm pretty sure that Vayne, in in this situation, I'm thinking that Vayne thinks that I would base because I had like no health, but I'm a psychopath and I sit in the bush and wait for it. And I start, I mean, I start channeling a base. I'm not just going to sit here, but I start channeling my base. Uh, but uh, Vayne tumbles in. <laughs> Lol. Enemy team. Actually, that's my team's Vayne. Tumbling in uh, to the poppy here. And here I decided to uh, do the damage combo. I think I should have gone for the CC combo instead. Um, and again, in case you don't remember what that is, uh, the damage combo would be for me to E first and then Q because your E will fear them, and then my Q will do a little double damage. Um, but the CC combo would be the Q first, and then silence after the fear runs out to lock them up a little bit longer. But we have the the Poppy W. Maybe, maybe that's not necessary, I don't know. We get that kill, and then we're able to collapse on them here because they no longer have Vayne. And we're finally able to kill this Ivern. Eventually, this dude is fast. I got water walking, so I'm able to catch up to him. I don't normally take water walking on this champion. I've been taking a ton of different runes because, I don't know, man. Everything just seems good on Fiddle Six. I think it's just because Fiddle Six is broken, to be entirely honest with you. But whatever. Um, that's just what we're doing this game. So we go for this dragon. I think we want to get this dragon, right? We really want to try to get these dragons when we can to prevent, again, their dragon soul. I decided to um, actually commit to this this Quinn kill, though. Because I thought that this would help us for sure lock down the, the dragon if we get this pick. And I knew that she was out of position, so we go for that. I want to say we get the dragon here. Though I'm not sure. Ivern has had time to walk over now, so this is a little bit sketchy. Maybe we don't get this, actually. I'm looking to get a good ult right now. I wish I would have just made myself an effigy, to be honest with you. And, like, stood still and tried to fake them out, because I don't think they actually have vision on me right now. But right now, I I'm just trying to look for this good ult over this wall or something. I should have just pretended to be fake. How does that not hit him? Yeah, we get sort of a decent ult here. I mean, they have vision of us, but it is still a three-man ult, and we just delete them. I don't know, like, I guess, that was, I don't know if that was a Felius or what. We did so much damage there. Was this even a good ult? I mean, they have vision, but... Still weird that that E doesn't hit. Yeah, this is kind of weird. I, I flash back to reposition myself because they didn't really. The fight didn't go how I thought it would. Um, maybe I should have ulted a little bit differently. They're more at them, predicted their movements. But um, that's that. We grab this dragon here. Good stuff. Uh, we're 7 1 and 6. Still kind of a close game, um, very close game actually, because our, our early game was a little bit rough, but they do have that Lee Sin who doesn't scale super well, and obviously we have a lot of scaling on our team. I, does Aphelios scale? I actually don't know. 
I don't know, maybe a Felio scales. Um, but obviously Yasuo scales. I think Poppy is like a pretty decent scaling tank. Um, her W can lock people down the entire game. Uh, Lee, Quinn, Vayne, whoever. Um, and obviously Fiddlestick scales very, very well uh, into the late game. So this is really great. Uh, I've got a lot of gold here and I was kind of deciding what I wanted to do. If I wanted to go finish my Zanyas or start building my another item. Um, I end up building another item because I, I rationalized it to myself that I've got like the arm guard stacked up. So it's already worth more than like the 1100 gold that I spent on it. Um, and they have a little bit of healing on their team and nobody else on my team is going to build anti-heal this game. But they've got Ivern, uh, they have like Conquer, Lee Sin, uh, Bard heals. I decided to go for the pen. Plus like double pens, just really nice. I have, um, what is it called? What's it called? It's not cheap. It's not cheap shot. It's the one where you dash forward. Whatever. The other the other pen um, rune. So we've got a lot of pen. So getting that pen's pretty nice. The magic pen. And just the AoE. Uh, Ivern applies. Or sorry. Fiddlesticks applies the anti-heal really well. So we go for that build. It gives us HP as well, which is nice with our arm guard. Only problem is, obviously, we don't get a stopwatch ability. I don't actually need to ult here. I don't know why I ulted. I guess I thought Vayne was going to live. So I figured I should ult. But yeah, we just sort of hard commit to killing that bard. And our, our both of our, our mid laner and our top laner, soul laners, they get caught out there. This is where I make a bad mistake. Spoiler alert. I shouldn't I shouldn't spoil you guys uh, with that. I, and I knew, it's like as this was happening, I knew I shouldn't walk up here. I, I, I remember looking at my thing. I saw it, I had a 700 gold shutdown and I was like, this is a terrible idea. I should not do this. But I walk up for my blue buff anyways, like the idiot I am. And um, I use my fear. When I shouldn't fear. I need the fear to defend myself from this Lee Sin here. I do get the blue though. Uh, but yeah, I end up giving over a 700 gold shutdown to Quinn, which is obviously real, real bad. He gets another goal, uh, more gold here. So Quinn's now fed, so that's great after we shut him down all game long. I think I sell my pink or something for a Phoenix Codex. Getting that CDR. The CDRs on Fiddle is really, really nice. It gives you that lower alt cooldown, and then, um, I don't know, just more fears, more silences. We're farming up. Uh, we've got two dragons right now, so we're still we're still not really pressuring the, the soul quite yet. I saw them place a ward there, so I drop my effigy there, use it as a, uh, as a sweeper. I know my top side's gone, so we just want to keep farming. Always want to farm. Keep uh, keep your levels up. I'm, that's why I'm two levels above Ivern, because I've just been farming very efficiently this game. I keep saying Ivern, even though I know it's Ivern. Really, we're just kind of waiting for like a good fight. Looking for picks, clearing vision. I think I end up typing at some point that I need vision because like no, there's not a single pink on my team, and I don't I'm not I don't have a pink either, so that's also a problem. That's another reason why I don't really like this dark seal. Like the fact that I can't buy a pink here, like pinks are so necessary on fiddle. I think because of that reason alone, I'm never gonna buy dark seal again. I'm glad I watched this because not having a pink is is so huge on fiddle. You really really want those pinks, and again, that's to deny vision, um, so you can get those big alts off with with the five man fears or whatever. I'm sort of playing this like pretty crazy. <laughs> Honestly, this is pretty lucky. This is just I'm playing it bad. Against a better team, like I'm screwed here. I was like sort of baited I, by maybe this. And I kind of thought that we had control of this area, but we don't. Yeah, I start typing. I, I need vision as I walk into two people. Uh, Ivern thankfully misses his Q here. And uh, I just fear him away and start backing off. Still getting beat to death by Daisy. I'm pretty afraid right now. Um, fortunately, this Lee Sin doesn't go for me. Right now, like what I'm thinking is I need to get away from these people so I can alt back into the fight, right? Uh, my, my Q is coming up, so I have one more defensive spell, and I can sort of get a silence off. But we're just walking away. Um, again, thankfully, the Lee Sin went for Rakan, apparently. Uh, but I'm just trying to back up. Vayne's chasing me, but she can't get onto me. Vayne chasing me into like my entire team was probably a mistake by her. And yeah, we just killed them all while they're all sort of chasing us. They just want to take this really bad fight, um, which is great for us. Uh, we like them taking bad fights, I guess. 
Um, I, I, you know, that this just, this stuff happens. Like, this is Diamond 1. This stuff will happen in your games, too. The enemy team will just take big bad fights. You just have to try to not be the team taking bad fights. Just play smarter. And why was that a bad fight? It was just so staggered and weird and forced. Like, Ivern, Ivern, and Bard were sort of off ahead of everybody else. And Lee Sin had to flash to get into the fight. It just wasn't a clean fight whatsoever for them. Not the kind of fight they're looking for. So we get that free thing. Um, honestly, I think I should have based immediately here to hopefully somehow get this dragon. I was pretty sure we were losing dragon, but I sort of just like guaranteed that we were losing dragon by um, doing my wolves first. I didn't do them for any reason. Um, Cause I, it's not like I can afford any gold here, like anything, any items with the with the wolf kill that I did. I make that mistake a lot. I always want to farm one more camp after I do a Baron. I don't know why. Weird compulsive disorder of just feeling like I need to do a camp after I do Baron. But I want to say we just push up mid here, which is fine. Use our Baron. Um, what we want to, yeah, that's kind of what we want to do. We want to push up mid and then hopefully they'll like engage on us or something and then I can ult from out of vision. I, I'm, I, I never want to be autoing turrets as fiddlesticks. I want to sort of be off to the side. Uh, I end up doing kind of a weird ult here because we, we, a fight starts over here with Bard and I think everyone's going to commit to it. So I ult in, but yeah, you can see I'm like looking at everyone that whole time. But he sort of just backs off, as he should. Smartly so. And, uh, yep, we get the free pick. Or not really a free pick. Uh, I used my ultimate on it and uh, whatever. But we did get a pick. Got a pick onto uh, Bard. Fortunately, I've got a decent amount of CDR and um, ultimate hunter stacks. So my ult's up again in 40 seconds. We engage there. Now I know that Vayne has no flash. So if I do get onto her, she should die. What was that damage? Was that actually just a Felios? Like, randomly... Like, how does she get chunked so much? I literally don't know what just happened. Some sort of sniper... Somehow he sniped her. I don't know. 200 years. He got, like, one auto off on her somehow, and she lost half of her health. I realized that about this point in the game... Well, actually, in a few minutes, I'm going to learn that Aphelios is really fed this game. I guess because of that triple kill he got in that last fight. This was really bad by me. I was actually wondering the whole time where Lee Sin was, um, but I never actually thought to like drop my pink ward or anything. Uh, so I end up face checking right into Lee Sin. He kicks me, misses his combo. I don't know, man. If he lands his Q there, I, I, there's a good chance I die. Azania has to get out. I'm like sort of looking to ult back into this fight right now, uh, but I've got five more seconds on my ult and then I'm watching Bard. Aphelios just kills them all. I like, like, I literally, I don't know what happened. Aphelios killed them all. That's the game, guys. I'm gonna be honest with you. The end was a little bit anticlimactic. You didn't, I didn't get to have one of those big wombo fiddle alts that ends the game. But hopefully, you were able to sort of see what I did do that game. Playing fiddle is all about trying to get to the late game, or even really just the mid game. The early game is the scariest part, but that's why you use that pink ward to um, defend your red, keep yourself from getting invaded, and hopefully scale up. Um, you can look for those ganks. But yeah, other than that, it's all just about vision, playing around vision, and um, yeah, just trying not to get caught. It's very easy to, for things to fall apart and for you to start chain feeding on Fiddle. Uh, so try not to do that. Uh, play around your vision. Remember that you don't have an escape. Your ult is your only escape, and you don't really want to be using that to escape. Uh, so yeah, play around that. Keep farming up, be very efficient with your pathing, try to be a high level, get those levels, that extra fear, um, extra points in your queue to get the longer fear. And that is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching this overexplain. Um, speaking of which, Volibear is probably gonna be the next champion that I do. I'm really excited to learn this champion, even though he seems incredibly weak right now. Hopefully, um, eventually he'll be put into, I'm sure he's eventually gonna be put into a position where he's uh, in a pretty good spot. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, other than that, though, if there's any other overexplains that you guys are interested in seeing, it doesn't have to be a champion specific. It actually can just be like a concept. If there's something you want to see, let me know. I'm always looking to make more content. And um, yeah, I'm going to be uploading a lot more videos to this channel. I'm going to make this a lot more active um, in the future. Uh, this week, this week, I'm planning on uploading a lot more videos. So definitely subscribe if that's something you're interested in. Check me out on Twitch. Join my Discord if you want to talk to me. Um, that is it for my pitch, guys. That's it. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, yeah, hopefully I will see you around. Peace out.